All right, so this is transaction FB50, where I can create a document, but when I try to do so, I get an error that the posting period is not open. So let's report this as an error. I simply click on the error message, and the standard pop-up comes up, and now I have an extra button which allows to submit a ticket to BMC Remedy. Once I trigger the product, it asks, asks for a confirmation to take a screenshot. <coughs> I will allow now the program to take a screenshot because this is not a sensitive HR or finance transaction. Now the main screen appears where I can enter a subject, a bong text, and here we have fields related to BMC Remedy. This is the default template that we deliver with the impact, urgency, and the uh, support groups. But naturally, you can customize this as you wish. I will take this checkbox so the incident will be opened in a browser window once it's created, and I press send. Um, now the product creates the incident in Remedy, uploads certain attachments, and opens it in a browser window. <coughs> so let's see what we have here. The incident number, company, and customer are pretty trivial. The customer is mapped to the uh, SAP user. Here we have the uh, long text and the short text. Here we have the impact urgency as the user has defined it on the SAP screen. Um, and we also have the assignment group populated automatically based on rules that you can set up in SAP. And we also have some attachments. Let's check them out. First of all, let's check uh, this CSV file, which contains the business context of the problem. Basically, all the screen fields are captured in a structured way. So here you can see this was on the screen, but we also have technical information like the uh, program name, screen number, field name, field description, and here are the field value. So this doesn't have to be entered by the end user anymore, so it's much, qu much quicker to create a ticket and also uh, you will have all the technical information as well. We do have a PDF file that's uh, generated by our add-on. It contains information uh, about the affected user and system, whatever the user has entered on the screen. And now we have all the technical details like the program details, what was the title, what was the transaction code, program, screen number, application component, and so on. Here we have all the details about the error message, even the long text of the error message. And we have information about the SAP GUI, the GUI type, GUI version, everything about the SAP uh, user, all the system details, database details, operating system details, version numbers, whatsoever, and a complete list of SAP components installed in the system uh, with release and uh, support pack level information. Naturally, we have the screenshot, so again, it's attached automatically. You don't have to ask for screenshots anymore. We have an authorization report and a shortcut to the problem of the transaction as well. I will show you that in uh, subsequent videos.